never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. All right, guys. Welcome to a new video. So we are playing Ultra Modded Fallout 4. I did use Life in the Ruins mod pack from Wabajack, and I added a little bit of mods into it. Um, nothing too extreme. I didn't change the boundaries of the pack or, you know, make it into Atomic Warfare or any like kitchen sink mod list that just adds a ton of mods it still has its main purpose in it i just added a couple more weapons that are regulated by lunar or lunar so they're not like astronomically high on damage or anything like that um but yeah we are is there a preset i can use i hate making my own character oh it's for her Okay, well, I guess we'll start with the base face. I don't really change much. In my opinion, you never really see people's face anyways. Let's just add... Let's add a beard. Uh, color of the eyes. really upset there's no like crazy eye mods like these colors suck pale blue bloodshot I like that blue but without the bloodshot look at the difference in the blue I clean up pretty nice uh hair it's a lot of different hair options What do we want to go with? My hair is just short. And you know, I often get roasted when I stream that it's receding. Though I don't think I want that in game. Uh... It's not Skyrim, so we don't need like a top mod or anything. These are all the modded female hairs. Megatron. A lot of female hairs. Female characters always get the most love in games like this. Alright. Uh, well, I guess we'll just... I'll go with the rebel. Something different. What is it? I don't think I'm gonna really sculpt his face. It's not sure I really care about stuff like that. Extras. Do I want tattoos? Should we get a neck tat? Mind you, this is all stuff we can also alter as we play. So if my guy gets like beat up a lot, we can go and give him some scars. If he goes crazy, we'll give him war paint. Give him tribal tattoos. Oh, you can give female makeup. Nah. We'll keep him just like this. What about body? I'm six foot two and thin as hell, but I don't want this guy to be super thin. Yeah, we'll go like that. Clothes. Oh, let's keep those on. It's advanced. No idea. All right, accept. Enter. Confirm. Alright, now in this pack, let's just let everything load. There's a lot of stuff in this pack. It's got to load. Okay, that might be all of it. I'm not sure. 
All right, the minute we walk out this, we're going to get prompted. All right, begin to notice that this isn't reality. Is it a dream or something from a memory? So this does have an alternate start mod, and I am going to take advantage of that. So we're going to do, this is only a dream I need to wake up. Uh, we don't want to be in the vaults. We're going to say, I was in the Commonwealth and had just stopped to rest. And then you stir in your sleep, pondering the big questions of life. What makes me special? So we're going to name ourselves Zydrin, which is my channel name. And we're just going to start with a very basic dude. Very basic dude. Four, four, everything. Unique traits. Um... There was one on here I did like. Um, don't remember what it was, though. No. Oh, okay. So, no. You can choose to have plus two special stats as a permanent status effect in the Pit Boy or as a permanent increase in your special points in the perk chart. I guess we're just going to go perk chart. I'm done with that. What am I doing with my life? We're going to say I'm a survivalist. Where was I really? So you get to choose like a variety of locations, but they're all kind of just basically near the vault anyways. So we're going to say I was in an old bus, Lonely Chapel, Ten Pines Bluff. We put vault into an entrance that puts us near Diamond City. There's more. Ooh, I haven't seen these before. I was in a hardware store. Old Dairy, Glowing Sea, Monitoring Quincy. Is that going to put us in Concord too? It's in an old suburb. Bunker Hill. Good neighbor. South Boston. Interesting. I wish there was more cooler things, I, would, I guess. But let's do... I was exploring a marina, because I love boats. What do I have with me? Plenty of gear. I'm a survivalist. How much do I know? So you can start at 0 to 250, pretty much. Yeah, you can select it. You can select random. We're going to do level one, fair playthrough. Uh, enough. I'm ready to wake up. Everything is selected. Okay, I'm ready to wake up. Now, I did have issues with this uh, the first time I tried it. It crashed like a dozen different times. Um, and then one day I booted it up randomly and it worked. I hear music. Black screen. Oh, holy shit! That was not good. I might have to go through and redo all of that. I don't think it saves. If it puts us in a death loop, we gotta run the other way. It didn't save any of it. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so we are spawned in. Um, I did TGM and just kill those spiders over here so I could get started. Uh, I think that's okay. I'm happy with that. Um, let's see what it started us with. We have a combat knife. Very cool. Let's let's start favoriting some things. Pistols. We have a pipe. Pistol. Looks like I broke textures. Pink pistol. Hunting rifle. Very cool. I enjoy that. Apparel. 
We got some things. Let's put on the glasses. Gas mask. 30 army fatigue. We have a helmet. Leather armor. Very nice. Aid. Gives us a lot of stuff. Very cool. Miscellaneous. Bobby pins. Immersive HUD. And some rounds for our weapons. Very interested to see. What's that? To see what is over there. But let's add a quick save real quick. Go in the mod config. I'll show you some of the settings I'm using. Um, adjustable damage. I have these set to two. They are higher than uh, Lunar's defaults. But it makes it more kind of realistic in my opinion. Uh, time scales default. All of the configurations are default. Haven't done anything in this or this or this. Pretty much all of everything is default besides that so far. Uh, combat in leaning. I added leaning to my mouse so I'm able to lean. Dynamic height. Uh, realism camera. I think that's the swaying back and forth. We'll play with it for a while. See if we like it. See through scopes. Fatigue blocking. HUD. Companion status HUD. Uh, immersive HUD. We want that enabled. And then, okay, so that's my hotkey to turn it on and off. Fall UI. Let's see. So these are the default HUDs. I really can't spot that big of a difference with it. I guess this stuff's here. That guy's up there. kind of like that more than this. We can customize this. If you guys actually have any cool UI HUDs, let me know. I can download them and then import the layout. Uh, we're going to quick save again now that we have new settings. We're going to go to settings, gameplay. It's already on survival. All right, and let's just get going. Our guy is default. We are going to probably die a lot. There's a frag mine hanging in this tree. There's no HUD right now, but if I hit this button, there's a HUD. Oh, shit. Now, we can one-shot things, and they can also one-shot us right at the start. That's what I really enjoy about, you know, this. It's no more bullet sponges. We're also not a bullet sponge. Is that his head? What was that noise? All right, I was really excited to check this out, but super mutants in here? Not sure if... Oh, Lord. We're crouched, right? Oh boy. Oh shit. Uh, oh, oh shit. Oh, we are so dead right now. We are so dead right now. Run it off, big guy. Run it off. We can... We'll make it through this. Alright. A little bit far away. Let's... Impact at four. Wow, what a mistake that was. Like, hello? Hello? Oh, uh, what? Other way. We're out of there. Once we get somewhere safe, you know, I'll show you the reshade I'm using. Where on the map even are we? Oh, if we go out here, we can find the RU-556. Very, very cool. Uh, AR. 
Vault 111's there. Wow, really dropped us right in the middle of the map. I was hoping that Marina would drop us close to here. So I guess we're just going to keep heading straight. Pick some of this food. Anyways, if I click home, I'm using the Aeonic uh, Fallout 4 version 2. I did delete, or I guess disable letterbox i have all these downloaded i don't know what any of them do and i'm not using the depth of field because as cool as it makes everything look it also blurs 90 percent of the screen and it just makes it very unenjoyable but uh yeah goals of this let's play i guess we're just kind of playing until we're bored with it um, I've never made it through or even played with Sim Settlements and the quest lines for it. This looks like a big town. Oh, shit! Let's get the fuck out of me. I'm out. Put the gun away. We are running. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Why he go and do that? That's going to take my time coming through here. Shit. Really push us into that one. Anyways, with the fallout, I know where we are. I know exactly where we are. Lots of enemies in there. I can't get in there, though. Don't have a high enough lockpick. If we go that way, we're going to run into bandits and uh, the named ghouls in Diamond City. Do we have place anywhere? I don't know the hotkey. Oh, I hear footsteps. Anyways, the Fallout show is coming out soon. And it's really piqued my interest back in the Fallout. And, you know, I, I've i downloaded and remade this mod list like 16 times, I swear. And I never finished playing. I never even get far into it. I think if I'm recording and I make a like a series out of it, I think it'll make it a lot better of an experience. Maybe for me. You know, I'll just bring you guys on for the journey. There we go. Secure our first kill. That didn't hit how? There we go. That shot hit. Alright. They're dead. Very cool. Let's go get some free loot. Ooh, fence sheriff. Pipe shotgun. Seems like the fence sheriff armor is better than our own, so let's check it out. Oh yeah, these are way better. How we looking? It doesn't let me spin around. How I don't know how to free look in this game. All right, what can we find? Bottle caps. The fabulous currency of Fallout. Love it. You know, I actually... I really enjoy Fallout. I think it might even be... Higher up on the board than Skyrim. 
but I have the hardest time replaying this game. It's not like Fallout 3 was for me or New Vegas. You know, I could load those games up and play them like a million times, but this one, I've had the hardest time trying to replay it. Not even like uh, technical difficulties, but like, ooh, loud, loud bike. Sheesh. But like, just generally trying to have fun. Um, I think this game was massively overlooked with uh, modders. Not to say it doesn't have great mods and, you know, phenomenal mod support. I just don't think it has the popularity that Skyrim had. You know, it's missing you know, a lot of mods compared to that. But several years have come out and gone by. So I figured, you know, why not? I, I repurchased the game because I've changed Steam accounts, lost the other one, it got hacked and gone. So I guess we're, we're just going to see how this plays out. Not sure what I'm supposed to be doing, however. Explore the area. Search for the vault. Rumor of a vault. So, I guess we're no longer the father of Sean. We're just a bystander investigating stuff. But we'll get to that. We want to level up some more. <coughs> Let's see how this interaction goes. You want into Valley City, right? Uh, Just traveling through. Shh. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy. You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month. <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supplies? Jeez, all right. Let me make it personal. Fuck you. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. So, I'm not entirely sure if that was different or not. Sounds good. Let's go. Great day in Diamond City. Alright, let's go. I think that played out the same as it would in vanilla. Piper, who let Interested to see about this one, though. To keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrap for par. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask a newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Whatever. I'm not going to be here long. Uh, another see no evil type. He'll fit in just fine with all the inept guards. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Just looking to trade a little. Oh, very well. Oh, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. I guess we'll see. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons comes I've had comes enough up? of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on no... Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Right. Mmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um... Stop by my office later. 
I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Not sure how the story's gonna go, but the dialogue seemed different within that. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. I wasn't lying. I got a whole supply train coming in tomorrow. Oh, of course oh. you did. <laughs> now I tried. tell me the one about you and the... Hey, what brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the log. I just want to trade a few things. Yeah, well, good luck. Stay out of trouble. Okay, so, I mean, it changes quite a bit. Are you stuck? Piper. We'll talk more once I get settled in. Let's see. There's quite a bit of new weapons in here. I didn't go overboard with adding, like, modern warfare weapons or anything like that. I tried to keep everything very lore-friendly. Um, except for, like, the RU-556. I think that's the most unlore friendly thing added. Pretty much. Uh, Diamond City still looks kind of good, I guess. Hi there. Hey, Piper, it's newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Thanks. I guess. I'm serious. The Institute hates people. You should read up if you're sticking around. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. Alright, so there's our first newspaper. So that doesn't really matter. Diamond City anyway? What's Diamond City have to offer? A bunch of stores that yell at you if you touch anything. A mayor that yells at you if you say anything. Mm, you're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute for something. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this Institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. <laughs> Thanks. You were a big help. Remember, uh -huh. Piper, you're back. Ooh. Wacky camera angles. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <gasps> Alright. So, the dialogue wasn't changed in that. I even got the Valentine quest. New guy, am I right? Yeah, I'm the new guy. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. I'll take a look. Sure. Self-defense at its best. All right. So he has legendary arm guards. Super expensive. Makeshift pistol. Interesting. The old faithful. Submachine gun, minigun, big boy. That's a grenade launcher. Nothing crazy. Actually, it looks like the texture for a 10 millimeter change. That's kind of cool looking. Um, I think we want to get rid of the stuff we're not using. I guess we'll get rid of that as well. Get rid of the hide. Ooh, it doesn't have enough. Let's see his ammo. Can we get this? Okay. So we got a couple more rounds. Buy some more. Free tin cans there all the time. Um... Oh boy. 
everybody. So I guess, you know, I'll probably wrap up the episode here. You know, we don't want to get too deep and too long. But, uh, definitely let me know of any other mods you'd be interested in seeing. Interesting. I've... I know there's a bunch added already. Like, we have all the Sim Settlement ones, which I'm definitely interested in seeing. So we might just get started with that. Um, there's the Manhattan Project. I know the Brotherhood. I added Ad Victorium, which completely revamps the Brotherhood. Actually makes him like a credible foe. What else is there? It's 12 o'clock. Just a bunch of stuff. Bunch, bunch of stuff. Plenty of, uh, plenty of stuff for us to do, that's for sure. We'll probably end up going to the main quest line. Uh, we'll see how it plays out as a bystander. Is that resident? But, um, yeah, you know, there's a lot of mods. If there's anything special you'd like to see or anything like that, let me know. Museum of Witchcraft. Um, and also, if you have any tips for me, do let me know. Uh, I haven't played Survival Fallout in hell, probably since it released. So, it's definitely going to be interesting. Fast travel it is, is disabled, so I don't know how to get across the map besides walking. That's going to take a lot of time. So, I don't know if there's like an alternative fast travel system in this mod list. But yeah, you know, I hope you guys... You know, I hope you guys settle in. If you're, you know, excited for the series or interested in watching more, definitely subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And then hit the like button for me. You know, boost us out. Get this out there. You know, I'm really excited for this. I hope you guys are too. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.